guys, welcome to the channel. I'm starting a new little series. I'm gonna start showing everybody how to do maintenance on the Z125. I'm also gonna have a separate uh, playlist where I show you how to do stuff on the Groms and another one on the big bikes. So we'll get into those at a later date. But for right now, we're doing a little bit of work on the Z125. Today we're gonna to be doing an oil change. I'm gonna show you guys from step one all the way through the last step on how to do an oil change. It's very simple, don't be afraid of it. Then on top of it, we're gonna go ahead and do a spark plug because this is at like 5,000 miles or so. So it definitely needs a new spark plug. And then on top of that, every thousand miles, I suggest you do your oil change, especially if you're stunning. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'll start with uh, showing you guys what we're gonna use. And we'll All right guys, so first you're gonna need some 10W30 oil. I got a full quart right here, it's from Honda. Of course, you don't have to just use Kawasaki oil. You can use anything you want. I've got a whole jug of these. Like I've got like 15 of these I got for free. So I'm using Honda oil today, it does the exact same thing. With a filter change, it calls for one full quart, so we're gonna go a little bit less than a quart. Now, you're also gonna need a ratchet, so whatever kind of ratchet you wanna use, that does not matter. I'm using some cheap Harbor Freight stuff, whatever. And then a 17 millimeter to take off your drain plug. So, very, very simple tools, that is very easy. Then as far as our spark plug change goes, you need to go buy a new spark plug. There is your part number right there, CR6HSA2983. So go pick yourself up one of these. I think it was like four or five bucks. Then you're gonna need a 5 8 spark plug socket. So those are all the tools you need. Let's go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna start off with putting some motorcycle stands up underneath it. I brought Sean in here to help me out. So he's gonna hold the bike up for me. If you've got motorcycle stands, it makes it a whole lot easier. You can get the bike lifted up off the ground a little bit. You can stick your oil pan up underneath it. I use a really big one. So it makes it a little bit of a pain trying to slide it up under there, you know, get your ratchet and everything. So I'm gonna have Sean do that. We're gonna lift it up. I'm gonna show you exactly where to put the stands on your bike if you have one, you don't know how to use them. And then we'll keep going from there. All right, so Sean's gonna go ahead and straighten the bike up. So now we got it like that. We're gonna come in with our stands. And we're going to set these little guys, which are made of rubber, which will not hurt your swing arm, up inside there. And then all we're going to do after that is simply push down and push forward, and it just lifts the bike up. We're going to do the same thing on the front now. So really, that's a one-person job if you want it to be. You don't have to have two people. And then once you get the bike up on one stand, it's not going to go anywhere. You can you know, put push it. It's not going to fall over. So from here, we're just gonna stick the front one on, makes the bike go up a little bit, a little bit higher, makes it easier. All right, so for these, these go up underneath your forks. So that's gonna sit just like that on both sides. Get this other side up and in where it needs to go. There you go. And then you just simply do the exact same thing as the rear and push up. Oh, well, yeah, those are probably just like... They're just rubber gloves that you have to fight to get them off. It's like melted down children's toys that they turn into gloves. Those things are... It's Harbor Freight, man. They don't care. Everything's from China there. All right. Just your nose and frame. No, okay. Just kidding. All right. Go ahead. All right, guys. So on the right side of the bike, you're going to find where your spark plug sits. It's right down here on the motor. You're going to want to do it when the motor's a little cold so you're not burning your hands. So this motor is definitely cold enough that I can pull it. You're just gonna take this, pop that guy off. It's not gonna hurt anything by touching anything. You can tuck it up, whatever you wanna do with it. And take your ratchet with your spark plug socket, go right on in, get it on there, crack it loose, and we're just gonna simply pull it out. It takes a few seconds, you got a whole lot of threads. And it's starting to feel like, it, oh, it needs a little bit more. It's starting to feel like it was getting a little loose. Any day now. There it is. So that spark plug isn't like super terrible. It's still decent, but you know, we're gonna change it out. So this one I've already gapped. It's already perfect, ready to go into the bike. So we are now just gonna take this new spark plug, which is the exact same one as before, and you can take it by hand and just start getting it started, thread it in nicely so you don't cross thread it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and thread it pretty much all the way in by hand. There we go. Take our wrench and just get it just hand tight. That'll be good. Take your wire, stick it back on. Your spark plug is now changed, super simple. All right guys, we're gonna move on to the oil now. So right up in here on the left-hand side of the bike, you can see there's our oil drain plug. 
Now I've already gotten the bike a little bit warm. You want it a little bit warm before you do an oil change. We're gonna go ahead and crack that open real quick. So you take your 17 mil, put it up there, crack it open. And I'm actually gonna do the rest of that by hand. Best thing is to wear gloves while you're doing this because you will get oil on yourself. Now you're just gonna loosen it all up. And it's gonna simply just come off and try not to get oil all over yourself. Make sure you got a big old drain pan under it and just let it leak. Now also to make it go a little bit quicker guys, you can go ahead and loosen this. This is on the right hand side of the bike. This is your oil fill. So if you crack that little guy open, it allow, allows air to go through the motor. It'll drain a little bit quicker. Just a little, little tip and trick that I've learned over the years. After all your oils changed, guys, you're gonna go ahead and take your drain plug and you're gonna to wanna to wipe it all off. Just get it nice and clean, take some paper towels. Just get off all that nasty old oil that was sitting on there in case you have any sediment that's chilling or if you dropped it down in your oil and got something on it, like some dirt, some sand. You don't want that in your motor. That's it's definitely not good for it. So make that nice and clean. That is ready to go back in. And looks like we're all finished up there. It's just a slow, slow drip. So gonna go ahead and take that guy just stick it right back up in there and just tighten it back up. Super simple, there's nothing to this. It's not rocket science, anyone can do it. If this is your first bike, this is a great thing to learn on because it's super simple. So now that it's all tightened up, just kind of wipe up any excess oil that you had up in there and take your ratchet, go ahead and just get it just a tad bit tighter. You're not going super tight guys, Just one little crack and you're good. You don't want to over tighten that. You might screw up the threads, you know, whatever. So now you can go ahead and take this guy out of your way and we're gonna go ahead and fill up the oil. So after you're done with all that, tightening up your drain plug, you're gonna come back over here and you're gonna pour in all of your oil. I mean, well, if, yeah. After you're done tightening up your drain plug, you're gonna come over here, you're gonna, you're gonna pour in your oil and everything. Now, like I said, with a filter change, it just takes one quart. We are stunning this bike, so we're gonna put our, a full core in with no filter change because you do want a little bit of extra oil for dual wheelies and everything. So just pour your whole thing in. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. I'm not even gonna show me pouring this in in the video. Once you're done with that, we're just gonna go ahead and take our little plug, stick it back in, and you are all finished. So guys, that's as easy as it is. Go in your garage, go ahead and have some fun, get your oil changed, change your spark plug, do all that. We're gonna go ahead and fire this thing up, make sure everything works on it. Just turn that on. We're good to go. Turn the light over, that old spark plug. Get a little bit to get started, so buddy's going down. Go have fun, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.